Okay, we're at the Bapang Waybridge today again. Uh, another view of the Trans Kalahari Corridor Thanker Trucker Day. And in front of me, I've got Chris Titikane. Is that right, Chris? Yeah, uh, good on that, eh? Who is with the Northwest Traffic Authority, if I may. Yeah. And I've got Peter Krunewald from Fun of Paper. Now, Peter came in this morning into what he thought was a roadblock. And just tell us how you felt about this, Peter, and what do you feel about the initiative to thank a trucker? Ek is baie, baie, baie verbaas hier oor. Want altyd hoor jy altyd die slechte dinge van ons. Verkeers dame het vir my gesê, klim gewaaid, uitgeklim. Sy het gevra, vandag, of gesê, ons is hier so vandag vir julle. Ons wil julle dankie sê vir al julle harde werk. Ons het begin besef wat julle doen. Julle ran ons ekonomie. Alles en rechtdag. Ek is so verbaas wat vandag hier gebeur het. Rechtdag, vir my is dit een meisie. Ek weet net, dit kan een bykie meer gebeur en een bykie van die publiekse kant af ook kom. Maar ek is baie blij wat hulle nou gedoen het en dit laat die mens nou weer speciaal voel op die pad en laat daar met ander oor na jou gekyk word. So, so, Peter, you thought you were going to get caught for something or they were going to give you a hard time and you said to me you got goosebumps again, oh no, not that, what's going on here? And they were there to say thank you. Ja, want ek was skaal toe gewees, toe wees die verkeerse dame vir my, klim uit, en dadelijk denk jy, ach, jy, wat het ek nou weer gedoen? En toe sy met my begin praat, en dankie sê vir al ons trokdrijvers, wat alles wat ons vir die land doen en alles, en toe laat ek skoon hoenevleis gekry, rechtig, ek kon het nie geloo nie, ek is so verbaas, en ek het nog een paasel ook uitgekry, een paasel, wat hulle ideal is vir ons, en rechtig, vir my is dit baie, baie speciaal. Ek waardeer dit rarig baie. Man, fantastic. You know, we've always said the truck drivers, like Chris, are the unsung heroes of the economy. They don't get much recognition, they get a lot of hassle, work long hours, are often kept waiting at customers' loading places, and then they've got to load fast, and then they've got to rush off to Cape Town in minimum hours to offload, and they are totally dedicated. Chris, you took part today, and uh, uh, you were part of this initiative. You on a roadblock there, but what do you think of this? What do you think of the truck drivers, Chris? Hi, thank you, Patrick. Um, this initiative was very good. Um, I think we need to have more um, things like this one. So many things are happening in the country right now, and uh, many, many times we tend to forget the, the people who keep the country running. Be it the uh, food, medication, anything, petrol, these truck drivers, they are the ones who are keeping us alive. They are doing so much for us and they are always on the road, day and night. They are on the road. You go to the shop in the morning, you get fresh food and you ask yourself who brought it here at 7 a.m. These are the guys who are keeping us alive and we have to thank them. We mustn't forget to say thank you to them. So today is just about them. We want to thank all the truck drivers for keeping us going, you know, with COVID. Uh, so many people, so many businesses were closed, but the truck drivers were always on the road. So thank you so much to all the truck drivers in the country and uh, in the entire uh, continent, Africa as a whole. So thank you so much. We appreciate all the work that they do. We know that they drive long hours. They don't get enough sleep. Sometimes they have to go offload in Deben or Cape Town and then they have to come back again. They wait uh, at the way bridges, there's a queue at their loading base, they have to wait and they don't get tired. So thank you so much to all the truck drivers and uh, to Peter here. Well, here we go, with a good handshake, we're gonna end on that. That is fantastic. Thank you to the truck drivers of South Africa, of which Peter is one of them. God bless you, God bless all the truck drivers, and God bless the law enforcement officers who are doing their job. I met Chris one night, he was doing his job perfectly, and writing out a ticket, and he said to the driver, if you offer me Kentucky Fried Chicken again, I'm going to arrest you. And I talked to the driver, I said, did you offer this cop a bribe? He said, no, no. He says, 
I was there to buy him to Kentucky to say thank you for doing his job. <laughs> but that's Chris. He won't take a bribe. He does his job well. Great cop. Great driver. God bless you all. Merry Christmas.